SBR Forum videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the NCAA tournament final right now at Michigan and Louisville with Troy West, who has been uh, giving us great analysis all year. He started out with football and he's absolutely unbelievably proved himself again in uh, the college basketball season. Our regular viewers know that Troy nailed both final four games last week with us. Troy from allplayswin.com. Thanks so much for being back with us. Thanks, Pete. Appreciate it. Not only did we nail both games, but we nailed the score almost exactly correct. I think I had Louisville by five or six points and Michigan by five or six points as well. So continuing to roll. We had a five and one Saturday, had a good Sunday. We're rolling right into Monday. I'm very, very excited to cap this final game. I feel like I got a really strong side on this one as well. Troy, very, very, very impressive. Take a little victory lap and uh, plug allplayswin.com right now. Well, I appreciate it, Pete. You know, one thing that we do is we really follow these teams extremely close. We do it all season long. We're definitely not flipping coins over here. We take this stuff very seriously. All Place Win's been going strong now for six years. Business is really starting to pick up over here. I encourage people to come out and take a look. We absolutely love what we do. Work real closely with about 15 other guys, and we're just trying to prove it every day, trying to prove that we're different than other people, different than other sites out there. Come take a look. I appreciate being on the videos. Absolutely. Well, anyone who's been following your videos with us uh, for a year and a half now has no doubt been impressed by uh, what you've given us. And now we're going to talk about the NCAA tournament final, Michigan and Louisville. You know, I don't know. I, I trust whatever you have to say about this game. I look at this game. I think, you know, Michigan really has proven themselves with their, uh, you know, their athleticism and Burke, uh, you know, four points. It's actually up from three and a half. I think, you know, why do you think this, why would you not think that this game um, wouldn't go down to the wire? I think you've got to take the points here. That's my lean, but let's see what you have to say about it. Troy West from allplayswin.com. Thanks. I, you know, I, I got to go with the four as well. As much as I want to call Michigan outright, I think Michigan is going to win this game tonight. Mm, I'll really? take the four points to be safe because I think it could be decided at the last about minute or so. But I just think the way Michigan's playing, they match up extremely well with Louisville in all positions on the court. I think Louisville looked a little deflated to me against Wichita State on Saturday. I just think they looked like a little, they looked a little dead to me. They didn't look like the Louisville from earlier in the tournament. I don't know if that's going to carry over today, but Michigan's just continuing to be in cruise control. Nobody seems to be stepping in their way. I thought Wichita took the foot off the gas and let Louisville back in that game. I really thought the Shockers were going to shock the Cardinals. But I got to go with Michigan. Just way too much going on, way too much firepower. I think really Russ Smith is carrying that Louisville team on his back right now, and I think it's starting to show that he's getting fatigued. Michigan's got too many guys to turn to with Hardaway and Robinson. And Burke, I mean, it's just at all positions. They're just playing way too good at basketball. I think they're also playing better. I'm rolling with Michigan. I think the only X factor that kind of makes Louisville uh, probably a little bit the favorite in this one is Rick Pitino. But I just think Michigan's the better basketball team in this one. Yeah, that's exactly how I'm thinking about it. I mean, to my eye, this game has like, you know, last second shot written all over it. Uh, but the line has moved actually up from three and a half to four. Now, I don't know if that's been due to uh, sharp action or just overwhelming public action. What do you make of that line movement? That doesn't bother you? That surprise you a little bit? It surprised me a lot, to be honest with you. I really thought when this line would come out, I thought it'd be right around a pick'em game right. because I just, you know, as a handicapper and breaking down both these two teams in those final four games, you saw two very, very similar teams, but you're seeing one team in Michigan playing a lot better basketball than the team in Louisville. In Louisville, we, we keep forgetting that Kevin wears out. That's a guy that had a, a pretty strong impact all season long, and I know they're playing for him, and, and that's where the motivation's at, but come on, it's the national championship. Both teams are going to be equally motivated at this point. I would hope so. <laughs> it is interesting to see that line at four. I don't know if, if it is a lot of sharp money going on Louisville. It surprises the hell out of me because I really think Michigan's going into this game the better basketball team. I'm not saying that they've been the better basketball team all year, but right now you got to take the hotter team, and I think Michigan is the hotter team, and you're getting four points. I think that's where the value's at. Well, that's how I see it. I can't disagree with you at all. Troy West, great analysis as always. Thanks so much for being here with us, and we'll talk to you again very soon.